If you like football, imagine getting front row seats to watch the Kansas City Chiefs. Or if you're an aspiring dancer, wouldn't it be a dream come true to meet Misty Copeland from the American Ballet Theater? And if you're into chamber music, who better to get up close and personal with than the world famous Emerson String Quartet? The Emerson String Quartet has been making music for almost five decades. It first started back in 1976 at Manhattan's prestigious Juilliard School of Music. Violin students Eugene Drucker and Phil Zetzer co-founded the group. Violist Larry Dutton joined shortly after. Cellist Paul Watkins is the newest member. He joined in 2013. Over the years, they've played concerts around the world, released more than 30 albums and won nine Grammys. But now the quartet is getting ready to take their final bow. They are retiring as a group to go their separate ways. Teen Kids News was invited to one of the very last Emerson concerts to be performed here at the Reformed Church of Bronxville in New York. Also invited are these four teens. They're all students at Concordia Conservatory, a highly respected music school in Bronxville, New York. Very good. Like other music students from across the community, they were treated to free tickets to tonight's historic performance. But they're also getting the rare privilege to actually meet the Emersons. Looking forward to meeting the Emerson String Quartet because they're obviously very legendary, multiple Grammy Awards. Um, you know, it's like seeing Derek Jeter or Babe Ruth's last at bat. You know, it's, um, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And they're super inspiring to violinists or just musicians in general like me. And I'm really excited to see them. I've seen them play when I was little, so I would like to see them again. So um, I'm very excited. The reason why I wanted to come was because they're such an amazing group. And I, I just want to see them play the final bow. I play the violin. Uh -huh. What's your name? I'm Leah. Leah, okay. I play the guitar, and my name is Shay. Okay. I'm Roscoe, and I also play the violin. Okay. Yeah, I'm Nico. I also play the violin. Yeah. Cool. So, do you, um, do you guys play together at all? Oh, uh, we haven't no. so yeah. far. No. I know. Oh, you Maybe yeah, there. we could be a chamber group. Collab. So, how did you guys all come to like know each other and create this quartet? Well, that's a good question for you guys. So, Phil and I met each other when we were students at the Juilliard School many, many years ago. Some years before, bef some years before the quartet became a professional group, and uh, we just sort of evolved gradually into professional ensemble. Even though there was less than an hour to the start of the concert, the Emersons took time to share personal stories and answer questions. Thank you. Okay, good Thank luck you. to all okay. of you. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, keep it up. Enjoy. Keep up good work. Yes. It must have been especially exciting to have front row seats to watch the quartet rehearse. With rehearsal done, it was time to get ready for the big concert. Despite the heavy rain, the church was packed for the special performance. The final bow concert began with a string quartet by Mozart. followed by Shostakovich,
then Beethoven. And for an encore, a bit more Beethoven. Honestly, the mixed um, and different emotions that come through the uh, strings, it's uh, amazing and wonderful. It, it was so inspiring for me, you know, to become professional. I just want to be just like these guys. By the way, the quartet named themselves after a man who didn't write music, but rather poetry and essays. Ralph Waldo Emerson lived in Massachusetts back in the 1800s. As violinist Eugene Drucker says, we chose the name because we liked what Ralph Waldo Emerson stood for. A strong believer in social reform, Emerson had a profound impact on early American culture, especially in the arts. And the same can be said for the quartet bearing his name. After almost 50 years of masterful performances, the Emerson String Quartet may have taken their final bow, but their place in musical history will certainly live on. For Teen Kids News, I'm Katerina.